kind of going on as you go keeps the curve yeah that's that's what they need here is you kind of you make a line your cord where it goes and just have it uh keep copying that north and south east and west whichever way you're going or make it or parallel that's what i'm thinking like making it go parallel to your line that you just recorded Camera's not picking up my face again. That ain't good. There we go. Freaking thing. And we got uh, light cones on everything. Got the nice fog with it. Oh yeah, new maps are exciting. Uh, I seem to have a new one way too often. This map isn't even finished. I did a little touch up on it today. Just need to do some more fixing little stuff I saw and a couple of new scripts I want to put in and finish up some empty parts. Did you get better ground scales working or you just go back to the normal? I just took out the silage and chaff lines in it, so yeah, it's back to the way it was originally. So we'll see did, see how that does us. Did you upload a new one? Yeah. Yesterday I did. Okay. And let's see, square add-on is no longer active, so you shouldn't need that. Okay, good. Well, I'll at some point, maybe this week, I'll sit down and see if I can figure that out. Yeah, I can't imagine it would be too difficult. I'm picturing, like, I can just picture how they're doing it, like how they script it in my head. And yep. it seems like it should be easy. Like, you just have, like your work nodes, your work with nodes, you just set up multiple ones of those along the sprayer boom, and you correspond that to lines in the XML that lets you turn those certain spots on and off. It's where you need to script more, like almost every sprayer tip has to be its own node. Or is it already, I guess, because that's how you get your particle. That could be. You know, that could be. They may be using those. All right, I'm coming in. Uh, Jacob, this map... If it's released, will be released when it's finished. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean when I finish my next map or start my next map. Um, just whenever this one is finished and I feel I'm happy with it, it may be released. No, I think I've used these uh, map border hills in all of my maps. They do the job. They do them pretty well. And let's see, how are they going? Glad to join in for the stream today. I didn't say that already. Sometimes I forget what I've responded to here. And hey there, Matt and Nate. Glad y'all could join in as well. Gonna buy another 9R? 
Uh, yeah, we might as well trade another one in. I figure we'll just keep the number one and keep racking up the hours on that. Yeah, might as well. Yeah. Kind of a little trophy tracker, if you will. Oh, I think we're good for help there, Scott. Thank you, though. It'd kind of be nice if Adam came on. A little bit, yeah. Uh, Brad, I did not make Missouri River Bottoms. I made, uh, well, Missouri River Valley. That must be what you're thinking of. That was, I didn't even make that map. It was an edit of a map, uh, an edit of MIG uh, made in Germany. That was that was my first map I ever really did, and it was just a simple edit. And yeah, that's <laughs> that'll never be released because it is an edit of a very popular and nicknamed map for 15. Plus the fact that it is in 15. Uh, Corey, I wish I could sell maps, and this one including, included, but uh, unfortunately that is illegal, selling mods. What is made in, is, isn't that how that worked, Dusty? Whatever's made in GE is then rights of giants? Uh, yeah, as far as I know. That's what I thought, anyways. I mean, I could sell... I can sell models as long as they haven't been in GE. Alright, so the quads here with... Oh, you took number three. Never mind. Yep. You do. You good there? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm running on a few hours of sleep. You didn't have to come on. Oh, I know. Alright, much appreciated then. Like I've said before, Corey, uh, this map may be released, it may not. I've made, unfortunately I have made promises to release a map in the past, and I've never actually finished said map, and it never got released, and that uh, is quite unfortunate. Or fortunate words, they're hard, man. And uh, I don't want to do that again. So all I can say is that it may be released. And even then, as, as Matt says, uh, it, it, even then it won't be until I finish it. This tractor can cover some ground. You ready for me to join? Oh, yeah. Got another hand. Good deal. If we had one more, heck, we'd jump into Halage again. You said number one had 35 hours? Uh, yes. Make the, sure one in the, the one in the store, um, the most expensive one is the one you'd want to sell. Cheapest one has the most hours on it.
Uh, Brad, that's a good point. I think donations is kind of a gray area as far as mods go. I think, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's a gray area and they, but doing it like that is all right, apparently. I mean, I don't have any problem with it. All right, I'll bring the fuel trailer down. Actually, there might be a fuel barrel at that farm where the quad is parked. I uh, yeah, I think there might be. I thought I put one, at least one barrel on each farm. If not, then one of us could bring down the fuel truck or the fuel trailer. I think I see it. Just didn't see it when it was dark. I got you ten four. Uh, Matt, I got the uh, collisions for <clears throat> silage triggers and whatnot. The tip collisions figured out. Uh, there is a video by. Was it Smith Smith ninety seven gaming? I believe if you go to his channel on YouTube, Smith ninety seven gaming, um, <clears throat> you will find a video on how to make tip collisions work. It's one of his one of the last few videos he's made. I don't think he updates too much anymore. I could be wrong though, but uh, it is on his channel if you need help figuring that out. And how are their uh, wolf lower three two four? Glad you join in for the stream today. And Schultz Farms just reminded me that I need to get our grain bin stripped on this map yet. But uh, right now, no, you can't put grain in them, but uh, you will be able to once I'm done with them. Just need to get stripped in there. And actually download the auger, which I have not done yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. If you saved it yourself, I don't know why it wouldn't save, but if you didn't go in and save it manually, then it wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't do that, because I did, I did restart the server, and if the game wasn't saved manually, then it would have got rid of the progress that was done. Yeah, okay, no, I guess I thought it didn't autosave, so I didn't. Alright, yeah, just, I never count on autosave myself. I always go in and save it twice, just for peace of mind. And the password to log in as admin is capital S P A R K S. That sparks. Gotcha. Uh, Wolf. Uh, I do recommend County Line. If you're looking for an American map. Uh, I haven't played it myself. I have seen it in GE. It looks good, and I've heard nothing but uh, good reviews on it. So that's something I'd give a shot if I were you, if you're looking for a public American map. And that's made by my good friend Blue Web. He's an excellent mapper for Farm Sim. And he even helped me with a few things on this map. Definitely a legend. There you have it. Even Matt agrees. County Line is a great map. There you have it. Uh, okay, Jake. Um, next time I get on Snapchat, whenever that may be, I'll be sure to add you back. And I, I've said it before. I don't really use my random Spark Snapchat much anymore, even though I really should. 
Um, heck, I might get back into that sometime soon, but I just find it kind of a pain in the ass to switch between my uh, personal account and my random Sparks account on there. Done it before, and it's not a big deal, but uh, I could stand to do that again, I suppose. Share uh, what's going on in the day of the life of random. <laughs> Crops are coming up all right. Corn's getting, uh, getting a little taller, and beans have started coming up from what I've seen. Uh, you know, feed lot I work at, we don't grow any beans. We're just corn on corn, and uh, that's all coming up real well. I mean, there's some spots where rain kind of did some damage to it, and, but uh, not too much, though. It's all looking pretty good so far. Uh, Matthew, it took me about a month, just under a month, to get the majority of this map done, and then between then and now, I think I did that in March, is when I got the mo most of it done, and since then I've been just tweaking it and adding in more stuff here and there, but the majority took me about a month. And I don't personally know how to do the real terrain stuff um, there are some tutorial videos out there though I believe the one that I know of it's a little hard to watch but it, I think it does give you all the information you need I honestly don't even remember who did the video or if it's still even up and I'm uh, for everybody's information I am well aware of the seasons mod um, I just have not downloaded it used it yet. Last I heard, someone that tested the map said uh, it is not it uh, causes the map to crash, the game to crash with this map. Um, so I'm not using it for that reason right now. Howdy there, international man. Glad you could join in for the stream. Howdy there, Tristan. Glad you could join in for the stream as well. What model uh, 9R did you get, Dusty? 9620. Ah, good deal. Yeah, Alex, we did get some new toys on here. A little bit of more green in the mix. And the international man, we've just been uh, working on some tillage here in game anyways. Uh, also got some haylage done last week. Otherwise, yeah, back to the tillage grind. Out of there, Tango6. Glad you could join in for the stream today. Getting uh, quite a bit of viewers in here. Glad to see that. Hopefully we can uh, get some more if you uh, 
want to share the stream with anybody, feel free to. Out of there, uh, Build Spider, glad to join in for the stream. And Quentin as well. Just keep getting more and more flooding in. Hard to keep up now. Kevin definitely did a good job on this rig. Oh yeah, it's looking good. I remember when I would have said the same thing about not being able to figure out Giants Editor, but then I just kind of started messing with it. The first thing I ever did was uh, edit a map and just did little things here and there. Then I worked my way to making my own maps, and it's just something that takes time if you want to put uh, time into it. And uh, the plow, what, what mile is it? Uh, 2131, land all. Uh, and Tango 6, uh, we don't have any multi-fruit on the map right now. I was planning on uh, adding sorghum to it. I think that was about it. And I, would add, I was going to add alfalfa, but I wouldn't do that until we got multi-mowing. Because otherwise we'd have no way of actually cutting it. Eric said that he found a map that has alfalfa in it, so I was wondering if he could actually cut it. Yeah, I don't know. I remember before when it first came out for 15, it was only used as a cover crop in some maps. Then, uh, then it was able to be cut. But that's just that's what I've heard from Blue Web, is that we need multi-mowing. And I, that's how I thought it worked anyways. I might even add, uh, along with alfalfa, assuming we get multi mowing, I'd probably add uh, ryegrass. Yeah, that'd be a good. I really wish they would make it so you could actually do cover crop, like with for corn and stuff. Yeah, I mean, you could. I mean, at least there was a mod that uh, when you cultivated a crop under it, put down fertilizer. Um, I'd probably use it for dairy hay. Or dairy what I see hay. guys doing is they'll spread or seed rye, and when it comes up, then they'll take their strip-till machine and put down there and, and do a strip-till pass for the corn, you know, for the planter to follow. Okay. And then after the corn comes up far enough and it doesn't need the rye anymore, to, you know, for shade and whatever, they'll come in and spray it and they'll burn down the rye and it doesn't hurt the corn. Yeah, I mean, that's similar to what the mild man does. I mean, he has a broadcast and some of it drilled. And then uh, I think before it gets the next crop gets planted, I think he then sprays it, gets it burnt down. Or maybe it's after it gets planted, I don't know. Okay, Tango says uh, alfalfa is in one of the mod contest maps. Oh, okay. So if it's if it's working to be mowable, then. Um, maybe I can have me and Blue Web can take a look in there and figure out how that works, or if you even need to make anything work for it. Uh, Matt, uh, the mod that's getting us these uh, tire tracks in the stubble is uh, what is it? Uh, what is the uh, not ground control? No, ground response, isn't it? No, it's not either. Is it called? I'm gonna have to go look because it's gonna bother the crap out of me if I don't. 
Crop destruction. Crop destruction, there you go. Um, but it's an edited version. The default one does not have stubble destruction on it. We got the, the edited one from our good friend uh, BC Bueller, who, speaking of which, uh, we should all be keeping in our prayers because he is under the weather, weather um, very, very sick and not doing well at all. Um, I guess I don't even know exactly what is going on, but he's not doing so hot, so just keep him in mind. Uh, he's had a couple posts on Facebook, go and give him a like and wish him the best on there. I'm sure he appreciates having his fans on there and, you know, keeping him in mind. you see the drive shaft from the engine to the transmission? No, but I did see uh, some drive shafts labeled in, uh, in the I3D. I'll have to look at that in a sec. Uh, Tango 6, I would let you put in a link, but uh, I don't think links are enabled in Streamshot. I think I'm the only one that uh, can post links. I think me, me and my moderators. I think the, maybe the moderators can. Could be wrong at all. All right, where is this drive shaft? Look from the passenger side, and then look down in underneath the cab, basically, and oh, the hood. Okay, I see it. There's one below it too for the axle. And then the pivot point, you can see one. That man, that looks good. Yeah, I know, I know, guys. Running the JD here, I should feel bad, I know. But uh, these are some good mods, and we were lucky enough to have our friend uh, KMN give them to us, so I feel it's quite necessary to put them to use. I'm enjoying the hell out of them. Yeah, hey, you want to grab that there, Dusty? Sure. I need to set up my throttle. Yeah, do you have that same knob that I do? Well, I've got the con the SciTech control panel, so I've got that little knob to use for, like, the cruise control. I could set that up okay. as that and then just yeah, use numbers was... for cruise control. Yeah, it's really easy. It was easier than I expected to get that working. I mean... Um... I sort of do that now just by enabling cruise control and then using the the knob to slow the cruise control down like you're slowing yeah. down. Yep. But I, did, I have to disable um, gearbox because for some reason my clutch is reversed so I have, in order to make it actually go you need to hold the clutch in for some reason. Switch. Yeah, I gotta go in the yeah, game, and I think just switch. Yep. Or maybe uh, does this does your uh, pedals like do they have a control panel like um? Nah, these are old enough. It doesn't have like a okay. a custom software for it. Yeah, I gotcha. I was gonna say, I mean, mine do, but they're old enough. I could. See how they wouldn't like my uh, Sidewinder joystick. This thing is an old Microsoft thing, and it doesn't have any software for it. The only software it does is like it lets you cal kind of run a calibration on it and make sure all the yeah. buttons work. Yep. Isn't that just like one of Windows default? Type? Yeah, it looks very Windows ish. Okay, yeah, I think I the same thing for this thing too. Ah, serious? Yeah, no, uh, no silage today, man. Um, only got three guys on right now. Um, if we had four, it'd be going full force. But maybe, maybe if Eric gets online or if Adam does by the time either you two leave, maybe we'll jump into a little bit more.
Brooks. I'm just going back and rounding out some of this stuff uh, because the field edges are really jagged, and that was just a map issue in the beginning when I made the map. So I kind of go back yeah, and no clean up a bit. This looks nicer when I get them rounded out. When I first made the map, some of the files were meant for a 1x and not a 4x. It's quite unfortunate. I already had the fuels made before I figured that out. Uh, let's see, Wolf. There are plenty of videos on what you're asking there on how to move a map and mod objects in Giants Editor and stuff like that. Just gotta put forth the effort to find them and uh, just be able to use basic Google knowledge. That's how I learned. Oh, is the east side of this field done too? Yep. Shit, was this the last field? That's it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, um... Secondary tillage then? Did you want to do that or did you just want to spread fertilizer on it and roll with the planters? Um, I think I wanted to do a little bit of secondary tillage on some of the fields. Okay. Um, so maybe one of us, one or two of us could do that and the other one or two could plant. Um, but either way, I'm going to run some equipment back to the farm. Build Spider, uh, 16x maps are massive, and I would not have near enough patience to uh, do one. I mean, I get bored enough when I get far into a uh, 4x. Just absolutely burned out. This map wasn't so bad since there's a lot of flat spots. But I remember, let's see, what map was it? Dakota Plains. That one was just the worst. I mean, I love the map. It turned out good, but it... Oh, shoot. Come on, what the heck? Okay, throttle is not working right. What is going on here? Oh, maybe because I accidentally set a cruise control on. Didn't mean to do that. Don't mind me driving into everything, guys. Yeah, I was just thinking, I want to put this 9R to use some more, so it kind of makes me want to do some more. No, just that's fine. Secondary tillage. Well, I was thinking we could... Oh, wait. Get enough... Yeah, a second cultivator and get two of you doing secondary tillage i could hook up the air drill move it over yes. there get it yeah, filled yeah, up yeah. essentially and then as soon as you get like enough of it where i can start behind you it get us all three in the field but yet that's exactly what i was just just thinking you just read my mind i was about to say the exact same thing you're a gentleman and a scholar dusty So yeah, that'll let us use this big equipment some more. Yeah, go ahead and hook up that Seahawk. Uh, there are fill triggers on that farm as well as in town, so kind of up to you. If you want to take it for a little more of a drive. Uh, international man, yeah, I am using a steering wheel. And the biggest map you could possibly have, I think, is honestly, it is probably a 16x. I'm sure you could go bigger, but there'd just be a lot of issues that I was, I would imagine, anyways. And 
imagine that drop frame rates quite a bit. Uh, Dakota, uh, you could probably use the hitch on the back of the land doll if you wanted to haul some fertilizer or anything to apply any liquid with. You could just hook up some hoses to uh, the knives on here and have a liquid application rig. Or maybe even a finisher behind it. I don't know if that's something you'd normally do on a secondary tillage tool, though. Or a primary tillage tool, excuse me. Well, I guess, yeah, Harrow 2. But I've seen. I'm sure there's guys that would probably even use it for some application. Let's see, is there a pressure washer on this farm? There is. Yeah, then we're gonna wash this stuff up. It's right here where I am. Yep, I just saw it. Thank you. I guess I didn't wash mine, because normally you don't wash tillage tools, I guess. I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Sit outside, I guess, so the rain washes it off. Okay, there you go. That's good thing. I'll just wash the tractor then. You're going to get it dirty. dirty. Uh, actually, to be more correct, it's a disc ripper what this uh, tillage tool is. We're getting technical. You can hook I... this one up here, and we'll just buy one for Brooks. Brooks, that ripper goes up to the dairy. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. I mean, we, could, I, we could just park it here. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Huh? Put it back there by the other ones, and we'll get you another uh, cultivator. Can you come uh, open this thinking... door random? My, my keys aren't working still. Okay. Um, I was thinking... I. Wanted to use uh, uh oh, thank that? you. I wanted to use Brian's uh, well, what do you call it? Uh, oh, his disc. That's what it is. It's the oh, you didn't want to use the cultivator. Back. Well, I mean, we got it, but I forgot to put uh, his disc back on here on the mod, so we won't be using it now. But I was just gonna see what's in the big bud pack. If there's anything we wanted to use? Uh, there is the cultivator, but unless we have the mod for it to make, apparently they fix someone fixed it to where it pulls straight. It doesn't pull straight all the time. Oh, okay. Otherwise, yeah, that would be way cooler. And, uh, so it's up to you. I mean, if you want to run mod pack, there's the, also that uh, harrow looking thing that does cultivating, and it's, it's actually probably a little bigger than the Kraus. And you can run faster. With what? The yellow harrow looking. like It looks like a Degoman, but it's European. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yep, that would work. I mean, I... I just give it a shot. Do that. Sell the Kraus then and give, buy two of those things or something. Yeah. Well, I might just keep the Kraus around, but yeah, we'll give this a shot. I'm probably... Well, this thing says it takes 500 horses even. Holy crap. Yeah, 
Let's go home by two of those. You're gonna go back to town, Brooks, with that. There'll be one there to hook up. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna leave it. Well, that way you guys can run the same speed. Yeah, I mean, same width, same speed, same everything. It's just nice being everything kind of identical. I'm gonna get this machine washed first, just because I want to. Oh, things backing up on me. Oh crap! Better hurry up and wash it then. So even if you set the auto hold or the, I may have missed the auto hold on it. I think I jumped out too fast. It's giving me the backup sounds. Maybe that was you I heard. That might be me. Oh yeah, it's it's backing up on my own. Yeah, auto hold was set. So I think I need to turn it off. Turning it off seems to do the do the trick. Uh, Brayden, uh, I've answered this question before. Just go back and rewatch the video if you want that answered. As well as the last probably three videos. Well, I guess I don't know those posted yet. Man, we got 60 watching now. That's awesome. I am getting random lag. Weird. There we go. Huh. Camera doesn't want to face that way without lagging like crazy. Interesting. Face what way? Uh, north on uh, Road S here. Huh. I haven't had this problem before. I wonder if there's something sitting up there that I don't like. Uh, yeah, I do have the follow me mod. Um, not using it right now though, since we don't really have a need for it. Why the heck was my clutch engaged? Damn thing. I feel like uh, Jay in the chat is yelling at me. I don't know if you can stop using the caps, but uh, that is preferred for the stream chat to only use caps in proper nouns or beginning of sentences. To answer your question, I'm playing uh, with Dusty and Brooks right now. Uh, my favorite tractor brand is uh, Case. I was born and raised red. But once in a while, I do enjoy running something green.
everybody there. Keith, I'm glad you could join in for the stream today. Talon's got some small roads. I guess that's a fair point, tractor man. The roads aren't small, the tractors are just big. Hey, Farming Simulator, thanks for the subscribe. Are you streaming, Dusty? Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't hear you do any introduction. Uh, I guess I didn't. I was just, yeah. Oh, well, for those of you that want to go watch Dusty stream, I. Best to go do that if you want to be watching what he's doing. Seeing as how he's going to be running something different. Alright, so what field are you guys going to go to? Good question. I should figure that out. I need to figure out what I want planted to what. Oh, you guys are still working on getting hooked up. I just got hooked up myself. All right, I'm gonna go look on our map and see what we got to work with. Oh boy. Well, I think we could get along with less wheat this year. Maybe maybe three fields about the same size that we did before and uh what would we typically get rotated from? Uh I'd go to corn. The next year let me see, this is Nebraska. They don't double crop there, I don't think. What would what would be wheat? Would we be planting the wheat after the corn? Uh, corn or beans. Corn usually... I mean... I guess I don't know the Nebraska corn. side. Okay, well, I'm just thinking in general here. Like, where would we want to plant this wheat? I guess it doesn't really matter since it's just the game, but... Oh, how much? Okay, so how much do you actually want to plant? Like thirty-five, fifty-nine, and maybe like fifty-one or something. Fifty-five, fifty-nine, and what else? Fifty-one or forty-three. I don't know. I was trying to spread it out because theoretically you wouldn't plant like all your wheat in one area. Yeah, it makes it easy for trucking, but, you know, like, weather-wise, you want it just in case one area gets hit with a hailstorm or something. Why don't we just do... We'll start with 35, I guess. We're right there. 
Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. And then we can figure it out from there. I'll just get as far as that today. Yeah, I can't stay on too much longer right now. All right, uh, that's fine. Well, that just works out perfect then, doesn't it? Raul, thanks for the subscribe. Thanks, everybody. How's it going today? Boomstick, thanks for the subscribe. Maybe I should just call it sub instead of subscribe. Might be a little faster. So has anybody tried to use a Wilson to fill the Seedhawk yet? He's got his grain truck to do that. Yeah, but it takes like three loads for that grain truck to fill a cart. Well, I'm just saying, uh, probably quiz him about what he had to do with that. If there's extra, it's like the triggers. That yeah, I was curious about the triggers. If it, if there actually had to be a special trigger on the trailer to make it fill. Well, let's see. Is this something we want to do in just straight lines or go out in an angle again? I'd go to an angle and then I'll go straight lines with the drill. And then you can see like where it go. you know, easier to see where you're yeah. seating. Not that I GPS think... doesn't help that. Yeah, we'll go at a different angle. Then our plows. Yeah, that does this. I should just be able to copy my course. Actually, I'm going to adjust it a little bit. It's a little too narrow. All right. That, that'll do. Now you can copy it if you want. Otherwise, I'll save it if you'd rather do that. All right, I'll go to, it'll be course number four. Sounds good. Eric says we don't need a special trigger. Okay. says uh, he used the Wilsons that are on the server to fill the drill before. Sweet. Huh. Hell yeah. I had never messed with that in this game. I know in 15, you had to add the siege fill triggers on the, on the trailers and whatnot. Right. You're done, Brooks? Must be kind of left uh, 
wants the lounge here too. Oh, I didn't hear. Yeah, it didn't give me the notification either. It might be that might be a stream thing. Yeah, I guess that might be actually. I think we can turn it off. Yeah, we can haul on this 10 mile an hour. Yeah, I actually like that thing. I do too. I mean, it's not like the Degelman Pro Till, and like I, I always thought those were some pretty cool rigs. Chamberlain Farm. Follow them on Instagram. I don't know. They kind of got me into, into them a little bit. Oh, I have a Pro Till. I, it plows instead of does uh, cultivate, but we could fix that up too. Right. I don't know why I stopped doing it there. Yeah, that's easy enough to fix that. And then he goes leaving the tractor on the road. I should have just had him. If I knew he was getting off right away, I would have just had him stay at the dealership. Are you gonna be doing this or are you gonna get into seeding right away? It depends on how fast you go. I was just moving, I was gonna fold this up so I can get in here and then get a truck in here. Okay, 10 4. guess as far as trucks go, you probably have to use mats. Yeah, that's probably what I was going to do. Okay. Seeing as how everything else is already kind of in use. Box by far the best add on this game has ever seen. I don't know, GPS is up there. All right, okay, I'll give you that. I think uh, your box might be a close second for me. Then. Yeah, absolutely. Just that, that much more depth to it. Something that should be in the game by default. Yeah, or at least an option. Just like the mod is. Just turn the gearbox on and off if you want. That could be like a difficulty thing too. Or like other games have a sort of experience thing and if you use it, you get more experience points or something. That'd be an interesting thing to have in the game. I don't know how you incorporate it necessarily. Maybe, maybe I like how achievements are. You do cer complete certain tasks, like you get so many stuff, so much acres cultivated or ripped and harvested, you get points for that. Right. And then if you're doing it with certain difficulty settings, you get more or less points depending on what you have it set at. Kind of like truck sim. I mean, they got the experience set up on there. Just a random idea, if that sounded interesting at all. That was your random thought for the day. Does that, um, does the seed hawk hold fertilizer? Yeah, it does, and that's what I was just wondering how that would be filled here. Why don't you grab something with a pup and fill the main tank with seed or... Can you put fertilizer in a Wilson, though? 
Oh, wait, I don't... Okay, I guess we do have the, uh, the dry trigger set up in that placeable, but it's worth a shot. I mean, I was kind of surprised you could put seed into it to begin with, so... Might work with uh, fertilizer. Gonna have to cheat a little here and drive through some doors. Oh, oh I can't. Oh, I think there's a collision on the windows or something. <laughs> trying to get through the garage doors. Yes. <laughs> ah, damn it, Dusty. Trying to cut corners. Oh, I can't have nice things. Well, if I wouldn't have gone and, like, re raced all my controls on the in game stuff. You need me to go over there for you? Yeah, I guess so. Turn on Superman powers there and run over here. I just did control groups. Oh, why is that open? Honestly, well, I guess we do still need the Seed Express for those Titans. So maybe we can get rid of that, but nope. Don't need them in for the planters as well. Unless we use the conveyor. Alright, maybe, maybe that doesn't work on that. Maybe we do need a trigger for those planters. Maybe something I can mess around with someday. Or you, you like messing around with stuff, Dusty. Yeah. Need to see if we can get our liquid cart done so we can get that hooked into the planner. Yeah, and then we need to actually add a hitch to the planter. Right. And that would require a certain hack job, if you will. Taking the long way around, giving you some scenic view. Hey, Brooks mode this patch over here for us by 18 oh. oh yeah man all right I'll forgive the parking on the road I guess this will be NHC's 9R well they both are aren't they Yep. I was just getting this thing put in the control group since I forgot to do that before I hopped out. See if this thing can turn sharp enough to just do side by side passes for you. Oh, maybe I should do the Andros first. I'm going to do that. Yeah, we, we know how to add hitches to stuff, Tractor Man, but we want to add it to the DLC. Is the really the harder part, but really that shouldn't even be that hard. Well, of course, we're gonna model a hitch, Jake. I wouldn't let us put a patch joint on there without putting in the hitch. I guess I didn't do that for our Degelmans, though, but I feel like that's a permissible exception. Oh, 
Well, then again, I feel like Jake shouldn't have a say in it either way, considering he doesn't get on anymore. But that's just my opinion. Maybe if he came on to help a little bit, then I'd take that into advisement. Actually consider such a thing. But no, I guess he's got uh, he's got Clover Creek to play on, and he's got work to do, and he's just too busy for us. Oh, I, I'm sure you were talking to him, Jake, but I'm just saying. Just saying. Oh, now he's getting salty. I don't remember how much that seed hawk holds. Um, it's always proud to look in the store. If you wanted to know exactly how much it is. I'm sure we'll we'll get a pitch model for everything. Wrong button there. Hate it when I do that. Is the seed on the ground here? Is that what the trigger's for? Uh, there's seed on the ground? Uh, I believe this is seed. Oh, that may... I just, just vaguely remember doing something accidentally over there. I think I filled the... I think I filled the... Uh, seed tender with the wrong thing. I might have put in fertilizer and I accidentally put in seed. So I just dumped it. So the triggers of the hopper bin? Um, there's a placeable sitting around there somewhere that kind of doesn't fit in. Well, that's the fertilizer one. No, oh. maybe that is seed. No, it's white, so oh. it's got to be fertilizer. Oh, you're looking for seed. Yeah, there should be Meridian uh, oak uh, bin sitting there. I got it. got it. Sweet. Okay. Good deal. Yeah, I suppose we could get rid of that pile of seed. Actually, you should stop filling that. For a sec. You gonna fill me up? Yeah, why not? I mean, we got this uh, payloader sitting over here. Might as well use it for something besides wet, wet cake here. But uh, that's my opinion. Want her to get some money's worth out of this uh, loader here.
Where did you pull the fertilizer from? That tank, placeable tank right there. Okay. That's what I figured they would have to then, but... Oh, geez, that fills her right up. Holy cow. All right, I then. A lot of seed there. Jeepers. I was going to say, if you did it anywhere else, I didn't think I had any other dry fertilizer. Trigger setup. That's why we're using the placeable. Yeah, I was thinking about grabbing another truck and you doing like a fertilizer truck and seed truck and dumping the pup, but I didn't want to mess with opening doors again. <laughs> yeah, copy that. Much appreciated. Take out the stop sign. Bam! Oh, Dusty, you shouldn't announce those things. It's somewhat frowned upon. Well, might as well announce it when you can see it's going to happen. <laughs> All right, copy that. I suppose you're doing it for your stream. Someone decided not to put a square corner in. Oops. I wonder who did that. Some random fellow. Ah, I see what you did there. What you did there. I see it. Uh, Branford Ag, they just load in the way they are. No special stuff required to get those trailers loaded with seed and fertilizer. So it appears anyways. Chat command says no cop, no stop. Sometimes I agree. Not always, but sometimes. I'm feeling like a rebel. Indeed, I'm missing a little bit. Shouldn't hurt anything though. No special triggers, brand for Dag. Should just fill right up the way it is. From what we have discovered, anyways. Uh, that is a good question. Uh, how much capacity did I put on it? Um, well, each so far each uh, bin setup that has a grain leg has its own capacity, and I kind of just base it on how much each bin can hold itself. I got ten. Uh, oh, shoot, what is it? Ten, seventeen, and. 20,000 bushel bins or something like that. Maybe 22. Um, so I just base it based off of that. And uh, it's just some basic math figuring out how much a bin can hold. There's an online calculator that I use. And then I put in a, a ruler in GE to actually measure the bins. There's a ruler out there floating around the the mod sites and so use that to measure the bins and then plug that into this calculator online I just googled the uh, bin capacity calculator something like that it's been a while but not too hard to find and uh, that gave me how much the bins can hold 
I basically only use three sizes of bins, so I just use those values over and over, and if I keep adding bins, I just add it all together, and that's that's just what I do here, and all these bins are placed in real-world locations, so that's how I kind of came up with that. Tractor Man says 10, 17, and 22 if I'm using the bin pack, my bin pack, and yes, I am Tractor Man. Thank you for uh, reminding me. I was close. I was close. Maybe that is what I said. Maybe I said 10, 17, and 24, but yeah, 22 is the big one. Alex, I might have to try that. Apparently, I'm a noob to this. Uh, what's that? Getting what's this that? thing to fill. Having issues? Yeah, I can't get the trailer over the trigger or something. Huh. You got the auger out and everything? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it, uh, it'd be nice if Eric came in the... Discord here since he's done it. Is he on the stream? Oh, uh, he was. He was in the chat. Oh, okay. A time or two there. Although I figured if he could get on Discord, he would have by now. Oh, uh, then again, I guess he doesn't like talking that much. Are you doing the tip anywhere unload? No, I just realized this might be what we need to do. That's what Jake said. Left control I. Um, hold up. Seed tank is a V. That's where they had it. R? Now I'm hitting that. It looks like there's nothing I can turn on. Why is that? That goes to fertilizer. That goes to seed. Just like I had it. And then Dakota says, do not tip it anywhere. Just the regular unload button on the auger has an unload trigger and it's not showing up with anything on the controls for the trailer? No. Got unload here, but that's tip anywhere. Yeah. It's not in the right spot or something. I mean I guess probably grab the trailer and pick that up when we get there, but um That's weird. I don't remember if I have collisions on these signs or not. And then I got it stuck on the pile. Huh. Gonna have to get a push here. Nice going, random.
Thank you. Okay, that's where that trigger is. Just gonna pull everything just a little bit out of the way here. over there, can you? No, you can't. Seem to overdrive directly ahead. I know what's going on. It's not getting not giving you anything in there. Mm, nope. Well, there there we go. Got it? Yeah, you got it. Alright. Had to find the sweet spot. I don't yeah, that's weird. Uh tractor man, that was uh BC Bueller that had tracks on the seat hawk. Going. They need to make it so you could you put, um, you need ramps. well, you need to be able to get into the auger itself and move it like the conveyor. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. Or, you know, we get rid of pups and start using, and use just yeah, trailer. Yeah, Making me look for it, ain't it? I mean, we're in the same spot as the other one. That's friggin' weird. Did you have to do a refill at the same time? No, I didn't. I didn't do anything. I left when you started filling it. There it goes. Find that sweet spot again. I think. Uh, I put more seed in the pub. That oh, that's what I heard. Oh, so it didn't. It didn't go. So that and let's see. This is. This is going in the fertilizer, hopper. Uh, so.
flame? Oh, it does have flames in it. Sweet. I don't know why it wouldn't. Oh, this is frustrating as hell. Never had so many problems filling a freaking drill. Drinking a little much dusty, I think maybe that's what the problem is. Not at all today. I don't believe you. I guess I would be having the same problem then too, since I can't figure it out. There you go. Mr. Master here. I mean it looks like it's in the exact same spot under the hoppers as the was on the pup. Alex, it looks like it's very situational, like you have to get it in the perfect spot. Yeah, I don't understand why that has to be that way. Oh, there we go. Oh, in the... what? We need to edit the trailer then and maybe move the trigger. Yeah. Could be. Alright, is that like, thing... It yeah, looks so like you it. You want to yep. put it back to the seed bay then, or the seed hopper? I may have to have you fold it all the way back up. That one was like almost right in the center of the hopper there. Yep. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I'm full. Sweet. All right. Well, pull her up. So 181300 and 16200. Okay. I so I think that. if we just ran two trucks, one for each, and then yeah, you could get a couple fills out of it before you had to go and refill. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah, Kate, this is the same drill from the Big Bud Pack. Do you want to get that auger folded in? Oh, you got it. I'm just going to park this stuff up on the side for now. When we get back to it another day, we'll... Yeah, I'm going to jump off for at least a little while and maybe come back. All right, I'll just do a little more of the tillage. And I guess if you do come back, let me know. If not, not a big deal. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to end my stream for a while. I will possibly be back later tonight.